From their Moroccan heartland, the Caliph's armies stormed east. By 1151, they had conquered the central Maghreb from the Hamadids, who were a divergent branch of the long moribund Zirids. Since 1146, the Afrikian coast had been the domain of the Norman kings of Sicily. The Catholic knights were some of the deadliest units in the medieval world, but King William I was occupied with internal unrest in Italy, making it easy for the Caliph's mountain warriors to absorb their holdings into his domain by 1159. Tripoli soon followed, and by the end of Abd al-Mumin's reign in 1163, his realm stretched from Morocco's Atlantic coast to the core of Libya. The Almohads had superseded both the Zirids and Almoravids, and finally united the entire Berber homeland into a single empire. This is especially evident in the architecture they left behind. Notable structures that were either built or improved upon by the Almoravids include the Qubat al barudiyyin in Marrakesh, the great mosques of Tlemcen and Algiers, and the mosque of al karawiyyin which by virtue of its traditional status as a center of higher learning, doubles as the oldest university in the world. When the Almohads took over, they too would eventually add to the glamorous skyline of the cities of Al-Andalus and the Maghreb. The citadel of Kaspar in Marrakesh, and the great mosques of Tinmal, al qutbiyah and Seville, as well as the massive minaret of Hassan, all serve as the legacy of Almohad architects. Both Almoravid and Almohad monuments merged native Amazir forms with the austere visual aesthetic of Al-Andalus, resulting in a remarkably distinctive brand of Islamic architecture. Beyond buildings, both textiles and manuscripts were an important form of artistic and religious expression, upon which beautiful calligraphy thrived, with both the Arabic and Berber languages written in a form of the Arabic script unique to the Maghreb.